Hello, and welcome to our short video on how to access the databases at the DACC library. This is Susan Botley. I am one of the instructional librarians, and I'm at the Espina campus. In this video, I will demonstrate step-by-step -step instructions on how to find the library databases. DACC has well over 150 different databases, mainly from two vendors, EBSCO and Gale. Their database websites are not the same, so be sure and check out our other videos on how to use each vendor. Those links are in the description below, box below this video. The focus of this video is to show you how to use the library website to find databases. In this video, we will be covering six different things. First, what steps to take to find the list of databases. Two, the different ways to find a specific database. Three, how to use the subject finder drop-down menu to narrow your list of databases. Four, how to find databases that have specific types of resources like newspapers or eBooks. Five, how to identify the name of the database vendor. And six, how to access the database so you can begin your search. At the end of this video is a link to a visual guide that you can download, which also shows the step-by-step -step instructions for how to find the library databases. First of all, you start at the library, excuse me, at the D DACC homepage and click on the library link in the banner. This will open up the library homepage. Scroll down a little bit until you get to the resources and services section. The first box deals with the databases. As you can see, there is a search drop-down box that will allow you to look alphabetically at all of the databases currently available to DACC students, faculty, and staff. You can go up and down looking for one which you would like to access and then click go to select your database. To see all the databases that are available, you can click on the All Databases button and a list alphabetically will pop up. If you know the name of your database, you can just scroll down and find it. You can use the arrow button at the right to go back to the top. You can also click on the letter of the first of your database, the first letter, and that will give you a list of all databases starting with that letter. To clear your search options, click on the Clear Filters Browse All Databases button. You can also search by subject if you're not sure which database you might want to use. These are arranged alphabetically as well. For example, were you interested in criminal justice? If you click on that, these are the 20 databases that we recommend for those students who are interested in criminal justice or studying criminal justice. Again, you use the clear filters button to clear your search. Many databases have specific types of resources like newspapers, eBooks, or even maps. Click on the all databases types drop-down list to give you a list of the different types of resources we have available. For example, if you're interested in live tutoring, you click there, and these are the four databases that do have live tutoring. If you want to know which databases have encyclopedias in them, you can click through here. If you know the exact name of your database, you can go ahead and type it in the search for databases text box right here. It will give you a list of all the databases with the word academic in it, both in the title and in the description. As we scroll down, you will see here that the word academic is in the description. Below each database is a short description of what the contents are. Information about dates it might cover, whether or not it has audio functionality, whether or not it has eBooks in it sometimes, or specific subjects it might cover is all usually in the description. If you're looking for a specific vendor of databases, here's the list of the vendors that provide us databases. EBSCO and Gale provide us the most. And then there are some other databases where we only have um, one vendor for that. Some of them have more than one. Finally, once you discover which database you would like to access, you click on the link and it will open up a new window. You will get the user validation screen 
that looks like this. And you need to enter in your NMSU username, which is the first part of your email for NMSU, and your 17-digit passphrase. However, if you are connected to the free virtual private network VPN software that you can get through NMSU, you may not see this uh, screen because it already recognizes that you're a part of the system. You will go directly to the databases. If you would like additional assistance, you can contact the DACC library in several different ways, in person, telephone, email, or chat. If you would like, we can also set up a video conferencing session through Zoom. The link to the visual guide that you can download, which shows the step-by-step -step instructions on how to find the library databases, what this video just covered, will be in the description box below the video. It is also listed on our website. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.